What's up guys, it's X2Rabby2X here, and I'm back with some more Minecraft modding made easy. And today we're going to be going over, um, Blockium Catalysts. Now if you don't know what a catalyst is, it's basically, uh, in biology and chemistry, a catalyst is, um, something that helps a reaction go quicker, but it is not consumed within the reaction. So in, uh, in Minecraft you can think of a catalyst as a bucket of milk so when you use a bucket of milk and a cake you get the bucket back so I mean the bucket itself is not consumed that's what a catalyst is and this has been suggested by Cherubster I, I, ho I hope I'm uh, pronouncing that right I don't know and yeah I mean this is this is gonna be a pretty quick tutorial it's not it's not that hard to do so let's go ahead and uh, get right into it now I already, you guys already know how to make classes for items and blocks and whatnot, so I already have everything prepared. I'm not gonna, you know, make a new class and whatnot. I'm just gonna kind of explain what to do. So you're gonna make a new item, call it Blockium Catalyst, like normal. New Blockium Catalyst, new item Blockium Catalyst, because that's, that's our class. Give it a unique ID that has not been used yet, and make sure to set an item name something that, something unique so it doesn't um, clash with other things. Now that we have this here right now, we we haven't made item blocking catalyst just yet, so this is going to be an error for you guys. Now, if we go down to our catalyst, I made a comment block. You're going to add a name. So you've been doing this, like I said, you've been doing this for like 20 videos now. So just add in a name. First, you got to put in the model.add name first, the object itself, and then a string of what you want it to be called. Next, you give it a custom texture. So, blocking catalyst dot icon index equals mod loader at override, and then blocking catalyst dot png. Let me show you guys what mine looks like. Uh, where is it? Eclipse client bin. Um, blocking catalyst right here. Preview. This is pretty much what I made it look like. I don't know. I just it has a blocking colors and it just looked like a catalyst stone so okay so now that we have this we have a texture for it and we have a name for it this is what's new and this is the thing that makes it return in a crafting table it is the container item uh, in a catalyst it's it's not really like a good description but if you take a milk like a bucket of milk and a milk the set container item would actually work because the milk is inside of a container which is the bucket and the bucket being the container so if we go ahead and look in the item bucket milk nope actually that's not looking at if we look in the item dot java and we look at the bucket milk declaration right here so you see new bucket milk they make a new bucket milk whatever uh, id of 79 give it a texture instead of the name and then it says set co container item and which is bucket empty for bucket milk now this, it's, I mean, that's, that's what it does. So let's go ahead and go to our, uh, what, where is it? Uh, milk, yeah. Now I think, um, I'm not sure about this one just yet. I don't think this is necessary. We're going to test it out without this and see if that, um, that helps. Because I forgot to test it out before I this video. But since it's going to be kind of short, uh, I think we'll have time. So, I mean, you kind of got what this was, the container item. So go ahead and pass in an object in here. If you're passing in an object from item or block, make sure to put it as item dot whatever, dot whatever, wow. Um, and, but since we're already in this class right here, well, since we're already in mod blockium, we don't need to put mod underscore blockium dot blockium catalyst. We can just do blockium catalyst because we declared it up here. So that's what you want to do is blockium catalyst. So you want to call a method upon itself, set container item, and then pass itself into its own method. So the catalyst is its own container item, meaning you'll get the same item back when you put it in a crafting table. So that kind of makes sense, right? Now I made these two recipes in here. So a blocking catalyst is made of a stick and a block of dirt, just so, so I can get it easy. And then I also made another recipe for a blocking crossbow. That takes a blocking catalyst along with one dirt 
and it makes your blocking crossbow. Now this is just for testing purposes. So let's go, wait, let me save this. I think everything's right. Let's go to our item blocking catalyst. Now, like I said, I don't know if this is necessary, so for now, let's go ahead and do this. I thought it was necessary, but we'll test it out without it. So what you'll need is just make basic class, blocking catalyst, extends item, don't forget to extend item. Um, basic constructor, you pass in the ID to the super constructor, and set max stack size, you want it to be 1. It has to be 1 because it's a catalyst, you can't stack catalyst, it has to be 1. Now, I mean, that's all we need in here right now, so we're ready to go. Like, this, I don't know if this is needed, so I thought it was. I thought it was, but apparently it's not. I don't know. Let's test it out. So, let's go ahead and create a new survival world. Let me increase the size of this. This was actually a lot easier than I thought it would have been. Um, like I said, like, most of the stuff that you want to do while modding you'll find in all the other classes. So all you have to do is just take a look around in any other class like I did with the item and item bucket milk and you'll get what you're looking for. So let's get us some dirt. Alright, so... We got planks, we have a stick. Okay, so this recipe is working. We got a blocking catalyst. Let's put a blocking catalyst in with a dirt. Oh, there it goes. Blocking crossbow and the catalyst was not used. Let's make two more crossbows. See, there you go. And the catalyst is right there, and we have it. And here we have our crossbow. Boom. Ah, yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, let's save out of that. So you don't need the on food eaten. I thought you did, but you do not. So yeah, we're good with that. Um. So basically, all you need to do is. Make a basic, basic class with nothing but an ID and a stack size. No other messes necessary. And your mod block you do everything you would for a normal item, but you would also do blockium catalyst dot set container item blockium catalyst. That's what you would do. That's it. That's the only change you would do from a normal item. So uh, I hope this helped. Make sure to like the video if you liked it. Comments in the comment description below, uh, in the comment box below. Um, suggestions and errors make sure they go into the minecraft forum topic that is in the description so look now if you have questions there's a lot of helpful people in there a lot of people have the same questions and errors as you so check in there there's a lot of people willing to help you and uh, yeah I hope you like this video so uh, see ya